Hey, what's up? This is Kalisiriti and welcome to the most important tracking tricks today uh, in Adobe After Effects and using by Element 3D. First, create a new composition from footage. Click here and go to download video. Select video from camera. So, I need to track the camera, not the position, not the 2D motion tracking. I need to track the camera movement, but uh, not all the video length. I need to track in 10 seconds. Take a look, trim your calm, and go to composition, trim calm. The most important point is you must uh, pre-compose your video after editing. Right click it and pre-compose it. Move all attributes right here, footage, enter. And now time to apply the 3D camera tracker. Go to effects and right here, 3D camera tracker. Drag and drop here and wait for the result. Okay. This is the result of 3D camera tracking. Take a look which track point survive from the start to end of the video. Which point? Let's find together. I think this point is perfect. Select and right click, create null and camera both in one click. Because you need the camera for 3D camera control and you need track null for the point of the street. And now time to add your 3D model or 3D product. Press Ctrl plus Y on keyboard and right here, element 3D, enter. And go to effects and go to video copilot and a minute. You mean this? And now go to scene setup. Click here and wait for the setup of element 3D. Then select your favorite models. I think select from Halloween. How about this one? We grab a stone. Click OK. Okay, expand the group one parameter and expand the particle replicator and select your layer, track no one, press P for the position, select your element 3D solid, don't turn on the 3D switch yet because our plugin is 3D. So now, take a copy from position 1, press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard, and paste A. Hey. Ctrl C copy, paste, and Ctrl C copy, paste. Let's play now. Thanks. Oh, now it's very... Not bad. Okay, and now time to add some shadows select element 3d go to particle change the particle size and move it up move there and let's play the lightning the matches it not bad yeah variable so Expand render setting and go to lighting, change 360 degree for the light. If you need to control custom, expand the rotation and control like this. So if you need to look more realistic visualization, you must add 
the shadow for the ground of the gravestone. Select again your element 3D and go to where? Same set up. Create a new plan, a black plan. Go to click here and select the plan. A scale up the size. So change it to group 2 to control in the visual. Click OK and then select again. Go to group 2, expand the group 2 and then expand the particle replicator. Let's uh, copy paste from group 1. Ctrl C copy, paste here, Ctrl C copy, and paste here, Ctrl C copy, and paste here. Let's move it down, down all this tone, like this. So, let's rotate a little bit by X axis. Hold Ctrl on keyboard slowly. Rotate 15 degree. So let's rotate in group 2 rotation 15 degree. And go back to scene setup. Apply the match shadow material on the plan to turn on the shell. So, go to presets, go to physical, and find the match shadow, apply here. And click OK. So, go back to render setting. Expand the ambient occlusion, turn on, enable AO. There is the shadow on the ground. So, if you need to control it, control from ambient occlusion shadow control for the quality 32 so control the radius and third right man and I to put a deep pushing let's play again to see the result it's on the economy Nintendo share. So, the main point about to create the effects or visual effects to add 3D model on live action footage, you must apply the environment reflection on stall. How to do this? First, turn off the element 3D and go to composition, go to save frame as file. Select your desktop and then go to change the output module to JPEG. OK. OK. So go back to your final comp and select again the Elwin 3D. Go to where? Scene set up. And apply the environment on your model. Click here and go to desktop. Select this environment image. Okay. Let's play a game. Okay guys, take a look. We have applied the environment reflection on this tool. So if you need to control it, go to lighting, go to rotation, control. Control. So, turn on motion blur during animation camera movement to see better result. Play now. And now, time to see a horror movie from a true world. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Have a good time. Good luck, all of you.